Hello and welcome back to another Warcraft video. So this time we're going to be having a look at the female Tauren. Yes indeed, the moment that you have all been waiting for has finally arrived. Yeah, fun stuff. So as always, I'll just go through the various character creation options and then we'll head in game and have a look at a few of the other things. Um, apologies for spamming the channel with like model videos today. I just wanted to get them all done and dusted and out with. But yeah, also on the channel today there will be the Night Elf Male and some Az um, Azeroth Choppers. Stuff. Anyway, enough of that gump, let's talk about this Tauren. So first of all, let's just have a look at the various kinds of leather, like the various patterns that are available. So we've got this, and this, and yeah, just, you know, going through. Fun, fun, fun. Overall though, I think the model is certainly looking better. It's, cynicism aside, about, la you know, laughing about the cow people. Um, yeah, no, the, it's certainly better. There's a lot more just definition in the actual skin slash fur slash whatever the hell. Um, so that's definitely nice. It's less of a sort of blurred mess because, of course, in the original tour, and, like, you had stretch textures everywhere and lots of horrible stuff like that. Now, let's have a look at the various faces. So, first of all, I think one thing you'll notice is there's a lot of difference there between these faces. Now, this is work in progress. Not all of the facial options have been added. How do we know this? Well, because Blizzard have flat out said that that is the case. They're just pushing these onto the build early to get feedback from people. So that's totally cool. Now that we've examined the faces, let's have a look at the various kinds of horns. Not very big, actually. Lots of these horns are pretty small. Um, so that's a thing, I suppose. But yeah, there you go. Now, one thing I actually think they've done a really good job of is the texturing work on the horns. They actually kind of look more like animal horns instead of just these kind of bizarre, blurry, jagged things that are protruding from her head. So that's definitely nice. And then finally, we'll just have a quick little whirl through the hair. And there you go. Where's hair color? I just know. Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. So can you not change hair color individually? Huh. Well, apparently that's the case. Interesting. Well, let's just randomize ourselves a Tauren. Uh, there we go. This one will do. We'll go with the randomized name. Let's jump in game and see what it's like. Okay then, so here we are in game with our new Tauren. Now, we're just going to first of course, go through the, the various emotes. So we'll start off with the slash dance because everyone loves that. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, it, yeah, okay. You know what? The facial expressions are a complete win with this. It's, you know what? It's just like when you see a dog kind of smile or something. I think with any snouted creature, smiles are going to look kind of cheeky and funny. So certainly that works quite well. Let's just go through some of the emotes. That one maybe looks like it could be a little bit more expressive, just based off how far they've went with a few other, um, a few other races. So let's do slash pet. Okay, that's just the mode. Doesn't actually have a an animation. Um, well, let's just see slash great. There we go. We can do an exclamation mark. Yeah, that's that's looking good. I think one thing though, they've they're getting a lot of sort of expression with the mouth itself, but not so much with the general, like, micro-expressions and little facial kind of tweaks. But I guess that's because it's a Tauren and not something with a more traditional humanoid face. Um, anyway, let's continue on, so... We'll go with Charge. Uh, we will go with Beg. There you go. <laughs> okay, you know what, the face stuff is still, it's... I'm finding it amusing still, that's actually really great. Um, what else could we do? Have we done cry? I don't think we've done cry. So there's crying. You can't... You can't really see much, but that's what it looks like when a Tauren cries. So, yeah, there's a bit of a look. We'll go through just the walking and running cycle. So, here's running. And um, once again, it... You know, it feels like this is just a little bit slower than it should be. But, of course, Torrens are so large that, to me, it would nearly make sense that they would... You know, run faster, but of course what they've got to do is ensure that, you know, obviously a gnome and a tauren have to be able to run at the same speed. Because ultimately it's a game that has to make sense. So anyway, there's our running. Let's turn on our walking. There's our walking again. It just... Like, it, it sort of feels like someone who's trying to walk really, really carefully wearing platforms or something. Like, it's very controlled and slow. You know what? I'm... I guess I'm just used to playing class, or not classes, um, races that are perhaps a more traditional, you know, person-styled size. So, I definitely noticed it with this, and perhaps the, especially the male, 
um, troll. It's just been weird looking at the run cycles. Anyway, let's, let's go and attack some stuff. So, the fist attack just looks like she's kind of just waving her hand at its face. Um, I guess we could go and jab something. But, yeah, there you go. That's generally what, what things are going to be like. If you want to see every single animation that's rigged under the sun, then, of course, you can do that. And Wowhead and MO Champion and all that stuff. Um, oh, wait, I'm not in any of my stances. And I hid that bar. Whoops. There we go. Oh, interesting. Now I need to bring the spell book up again. Isn't this fantastic? So, there you go. I mean, these animations, frankly, to me, they, they are all kind of the same as they used to be. It's not like they've been humongously changed. Um, it's just maybe there's a few more keyframes in there and a bit more, you know, just the articulation. But yeah, there's a bit of a brief overview of what this thing's like to, uh, to run around with, in my opinion. Pretty cool. There's the jump. I don't think I showed you the jump. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Does Slash Dead work? No, I, I'm used to being a hunter so I can, I can feign myself and see what the dying animation looks like. But yeah, there you go. New female Torn. Honestly, I think it's a massive upgrade over the last one. In terms of detail, you know, everything's better. The animations are fantastic, especially on the mouth. Lots of emotion going on there. I think the eyes are great. Texturing is also very good. The horns are far more believable. I still find Torn hair to be a little bit strange. And, you know, there's the obvious problems with clipping and various things like that. The, um, actually the, the feet, way better, like the feet and hooves. So that definitely all works out quite well. And on the whole, I think it's a pretty cool update. So that's basically my thoughts on the female Tauren. Let me know what you think in the comments. And stay tuned to the channel for Night Elf Males, Azeroth Choppers, and new login screens. Lots of fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.